Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet Deadlocked. I'm Nye. I'm Mako, and we're gonna shoot things. <laughs> yep. Starting out from the title screen, because there is a cutscene immediately upon entering the game. And I figured you guys might actually want to see that. So let's go look. It's a news channel! So we are learning about our, new, our next boss. Maybe our first boss. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, we haven't fought, fought this guy yet. Have we fought any boss yet? Not yet. I mean, we had that Leviathan thing, which was really, really easy. Uh, no, no. He's annoying, but that's not a boss. Does this count as a boss? This guy's actually a hoot, too. With, with the Schwarzenegger accent? Yeah, but they, they, you'll, you'll, they'll, they'll give you like more comments on what he's like as the as we get closer and closer to him. I, I really love that he supposedly can see the Ace Hardlight underwear. Oh, hey, callbacks. Remarkable recovery? I killed her. Why is she still alive? She's a robot. Killed her. Dismantled. Broke into tiny pieces. Nothing left. Backups, dude. Backups. Vaporize. Well, in that case, the recovery really, recovery really is remarkable. Apparently. And their music mm -hmm. sucks too. Actually, I, the the music track they have for her is really catchy. That's the one true. song she has. Also it the one, that, which, the one, that, the one that she sings, and then also tries to kill you too. Yep. Okay, so we're now in the, in the dread zone. I can't remember if you got anything to do here. Yeah, yeah. The, the the thing, you can do more stuff now. But if I remember correctly, the instructions are sending you to the next level. So you've only got the two guns because yeah, I never bought all, anything else. You've been putting all your money into ever, into uh, into uh, nothing else actually. So now it's time hmm. to pick up a new weapon. You get a bunch. Of or choices. I could not do so. But not doing you... so is an option. But, but, but why? Like, because there'll be something better soon. You know. I suppose so. I can't I remember you're... what we get next. But like the B six Obliterator is not all that amazing. No. And neither it's not. is the Hunter Mine Launcher. A lot of these require like more of the um, more of the mods, more of the alpha alpha mods that you just don't have yet. Yeah make them really effective. You might want to check and see if you can get any upgrades for your bots, though. That's what I was thinking. Like, I'll be fine with my guns, but my bots, you know, love me, love my bots. This is really choppy for me for some reason. Totally gonna go with the shield link, I think. Right. I think we we skipped out on that last time. Yeah. Royal, the, uh, I was gonna say the commando is not, we haven't gotten the nicest color and uh, head schemes yet, unfortunately. Al, nobody loves you. Now, here's the thing. I mean, will I make enough money to be able to um, uh, afford everything as soon as it comes out? By the time you have finished the game uh, the first time around, assuming you were playing on easy or normal, you should have enough money to purchase everything, like, to purchase the basic version of almost everything except, like, the last weapon. Because the last mm. weapon is is prohibitively expensive for a reason. Well, I, what I meant more is not as much that, or as much as, like, if I get the Hunter Mine, will I have enough money for the next weapon when it becomes available? Mm, no. I, for that reason, like, wait, I, I think I know the one that you get next. You might want to save for that, yeah. Right. Because it is a very nice weapon. Let's go ahead and fly to the Battle Dome, then. That's not where you're supposed to be going, though. Isn't it? Are you sure? The, 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 your mini map had a giant flashing star on the go to other planets machine uh, ship, but you can do the battle dome and see if you've got any challenges you haven't done yet. Yeah, let's go see. Let's go look at this. Yep, got some easy ones too. Okay, well they give me a couple bolts. Let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> Footers, yeah, the first one's the grist for the mill. It's your standard kill stuff. Footage for this footage for this channel usually ends up in the blue. Area. Well, there's an achievement. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there's another one. Five and one. <laughs> Biters. Yeah, yeah, a lot of the easy lower low level skill points are like yep. that. Good way to get some XP for your weapons, your weapons too. Exactly. Whoa, hello. Nobody asked for you. Nobody wanted you here. I love the fact that I have the electricity mod on this gun. 
Mm, the electricity mod is pretty much the best for the for the Vipers. Who is who is? I don't want the magma cannon. Nobody wants the magma cannon. Nobody likes the magma cannon. You know, magma cannon's perfectly good for some things. Yep. I'm gonna have to use it soon because I'm running out of ammo. <laughs> it's good for big targets, really. It's good for when you're running out of ammo. That's that's what it's good for, really. When you think about it, if you're, I, if you're... I, again, like this is this is this is the way of not buying. Like buying other stuff, it's a valid thing, but it will leave you gimped for options. That's true. I don't know if I'm like purposefully challenge boating myself on this one, or if it's just I don't like these guns. I'm not sure which one. <sighs> again, a lot of them require stuff you just don't get until later. Yep. There's some skill points. There's some bolts. There's some dread points. It took me all of a minute and nine seconds. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, kill Eight. five tremors with the magma cannon in 20 seconds. Complete any challenge with an accuracy above 75%. I can do that with the shotgun. Complete any challenge without taking damage. Now, a few of these you'll also get, like, automatically. Because there's a few challenges later on that actually require you to do it without getting hit. Is this the one that I have a set time? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, it's not so much a set time limit as your health is slowly ticking down. You do get health ups yeah. if you're good. Well, I think I'm moderately okay. Well, like as I said, you can still get the nano the nano boosters for your health, but... Yep. They look got the ammo. They actually gave me ammo this time. Yep. Most of them do. I love how we're, we're sitting in this, like, gas chamber... And what's his name is going, oh, I love that smell. Do you now? There's this character that was in this movie called, uh, what is it called? A Little Shop of Horrors that you may know and like. I heard of it, but I have never actually seen that movie. Really? Well, that movie's fantastic. There, oh, there well, are a number of movies that I've, I've been told I should have seen and have not. Well, it's, there are... it's more of a Broadway musical than it is a movie. Like, I think yeah. the musical came first. I but, uh, I... like, it's got Steve Martin, Rick Moranis. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me. Pretty much. Yeah, I'm familiar. I'm so, I, I, Like with many things, I'm familiar with it, but I haven't actually seen it. Oh, you should definitely go see last, it. Sometime. Last Broadway musical I actually went to go see was Avenue Q, so... Oh, well, the, hey, Avenue Q is good. Oh, very good. But that probably still dates me somewhat. Yeah. And bef before that was a live-action live show of Phantom, so... Hey, that's also very good. Um, One of the big deals is that you, uh... See on um, the map, a big flashing blue star. Yeah, Steve Martin plays. Um, uh, I don't. I don't even want the Hollow Shield launcher. No, go away. Hollow Shield launcher is a pain to level <coughs> up, but once you, it, I, I mean, honestly, it's good once you level very, it up. It's very good for what it for what it's used for, but it's still ah uh, the Dark Cathedral of Kronos. Yes, this is the one I was thinking of. This yep. is the one where you're going to have to go face that guy that we just saw the special on. Yeah. And it has it, it 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 is long and it is not entirely fun, but this was never my this was never my favorite level. But no, it has neat neat sort of look, but it's not really the architecture is good, but it's a very annoying level. It is not. It's just it's it's long thin corridors with things that like to knock you off. Interspersed with arenas. Yeah. And hey, look, we now have grind rail sections. Hey, at least we don't have to pay for the grind boots this time. Now, one, it's it's like one of the few really good things that Rick Moranis has done, and he's always a fun uh, actor. Huh, okay. But also, you get to watch uh, us. It's it's a very limited thing. His character's not huge in it, but you get to watch Steve Martin play as a sadistic uh, dentist. And one of his, one, one of the big bits about him is he actually has a uh, song and dance scene I thought that talking was about that. The Shock of Horrors. Wait, wasn't that actually a uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show? Nope. Huh. I, I'm getting the, the two mixed up at this point. Now. Oh, hello! Hi! There you go. That Fusion I rifle. That, that oh my god, is... now I bought a weapon! And it's it's a good one. It is it is my favorite Let's weapon see, by How far. do you zoom in again? Uh, R2, I believe. Oh, is it? Nope, that's Switch. There it is. It's L2, apparently. L2. That's fine, I can no-scope with this thing, that's cool. I, I was gonna say, no-scoping, aiming doesn't do you any 
special things for this scene, really. Not that, yet, that doesn't least. really do you any favors, but the damage off that thing. Yeah, the, the, the fusion rifle will routinely one-shot just about anything. That's not like a big, big oh, capital ship thing. type cap ship style thing. And it even it, it slices, it dices, it even shoots down capital ships. Oh yes. I gotta remember, you can cycle through three weapons in this one. Mm -hmm. See, the thing is, it's just there's so many respawns on this level. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm not really making all that much headway because we've had so many goddamn respawns. Hmm, I could jump in that turret, or I could not do so. Let's not do so. Just keep on shooting people. The Vipers are about to level up again. I am the Viper. I have come to Vipe the Vitos. Pretty much. Punishment, another 400 volts. Too nimble, another 1400 volts. And the dual Vipers level up. I don't, I don't, I mean, fine, give me an ammo mod, fine. But can you give me more speed mods, please? <laughs> for speed mods. Crap. Well, if, if we was going to say a free ammo mod could never be a bad thing. Oh, no, it's not. Giving you more ammo to hold on to is pretty much fantastic. But can you stop shooting me? I don't like you. Stop, stop looking at me. Oh, that's what I'm getting hit by. Ugh, crap. Ankle biters. Figures. I'm out of ammo on my vipers. Stop looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm shy. Stop it. Was it because they camera shy? Yeah. Now, don't forget to keep... Don't forget to look to the sides when you go through here, because there's often jackpot uh, crates tucked away in corners on this one. Hmm. I don't see any. Well, not necessarily, like, in this room specifically, but, I mean, in Ow. general. They like the high jackpot crates and the zeros on this stage. Hey, Magma Hand just went to level 3. Isn't there a certain level where they do the full ratchet like evolution? Yes, when they reach 10. 10? Okay. In, 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 in Deadlocked, your weapons will level up to 10, at which point you can... At which point, uh, you... Well, you have to is that the, the is that the Is that the, the, the Omega weapon? Is yeah, the they, 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 they actually evolve into a new form. At that point, you can then purchase... Like, once you get to the end of the game, you are given the option to purchase a new version of that weapon, which can then level up infinitely to, like, 100. Yeah, it's 100. But Not they, that you'll ever do so. Yeah. I mean, Every time they level up right now, you get, you know, the standard damage up, and you get another slot for mods plus, you know, a free mod. Up until level 10. Up until level 10, yeah. Oh, I am so glad that I picked up the acid mod. The acid mod is very nice. We already lava okay. mod is very nice for explosives. Mm -hmm. That's and lava, bomb mod. Lava mod, well, I prefer lava mod because lava mod plus the uh, the mines that you didn't, didn't pick up or the obliterator make excellent lamb. Okay, we'll just do that. Woohoo! I have a portable sh I have a portable cable. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing about grinding in this game is that you actually uh hello. Blow that up, blow that up. Go away, go away, go away. What? Die. Thank you. Oh, uh, one of the cool things about uh grinding this game is you actually do get to keep your uh vipers out while you do it. It will automatically switch to your vipers if you do not have them out. For that matter. It's vipers are the only weapon you're allowed. <laughs> yep. I'm actually running out of ammo here. There's the shield link, so nothing's gonna hurt him while he does this. Until, you know, his friend goes Until his friend goes down, yeah. Yeah. Which will happen frequently. Luckily, all the ankle biters are going after me right now. Which is absolutely fine by me. Did I just win? Yes, yes I did. Okay. Okie dokie. That's one light. Yep, challenge complete. We're complete. That's the first checkpoint. Yep. Works out pretty well, huh? Mm-hmm. And now I must defeat Shellshock. Oh, Lord, these. Is there anything I can... Oh, yeah. Hi. Nope, 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 nope. Yep. The freeze mods. And you can't afford anything anymore. Configure mods? Sure. Um, let's see. So... I want that to be electricity. I want that to be acid. Let's put it on there. No, oh, no, now go into your, your Omega mods and see what you got. Once you have purchased a new Omega mod, hmm, acid shock or freeze. Remember, oh, hey, I didn't know you could free, put Omega freeze on that. Does it deal more damage? Upgraded. Upgraded 
Yeah, it's no, nope, but it holds them steady so you can hit them again if you have to. Which I'm completely cool with. Yeah, okay. Neat. Let's go kill somebody. Okay, fusion rifle time. Bring it. What's up? Rar. Time to die, he says. Okay. I mean, you do that. I'll be over here. Not being hit by any of your missiles. Dude really likes his missile spam. And he can like it all he wants. And oh, okay. You, Goodbye. Yep. Yep. Now he's going to take off. Okay. I mean, that's Gee, fine. it's not like he's going to do that a few more times. Well, it's not as if he actually hit me at any point during the fight. In fact, he was completely worthless the entire fight. Yeah, but what I meant is it's... This is one of those annoying levels where the boss pops up multiple times. Yep. And I, there's something about those that really annoys me. They annoy everybody. I mean, they're not the most fun type of level because it's like, well, did I just... There's another <laughs> skill point for not being hit. Um, uh, that's passing through. Yep. I don't think this is the one where I can get the skill point for beating him in 30 seconds. I think uh we can do that also. last one, yeah. Team Darkstar must now trust. So really have the grind rail. Yep. Is feet above the water. Is that even safe? Of course it's not. This is Dread Zone. Of course it's not. This is Dread Zone. <laughs> okay. Oh crap. They're shooting at me already. I was going to take yes. a pause here. Okay, guys. We're going to take a pause here. We'll see you guys next time.